Hi, fellow birdies. birdies, and welcome back to another edition of Songbird Eating Show. In today's video, we are once again reviewing some brand new Van Leeuwen ice cream flavors, and one of these has been hitting my noggin for a while, ranch. Yes, ranch flavored ice cream. I've been watching a lot of reviews of it, and a lot of people were like, eh. So we're going to see if we react the same way. Plus, try out some other new flavors that have been introduced this spring. So, we have sweet maple cornbread, ranch, blood uh, orange chocolate chip, and lemon, lemon limoncello cake. It's Italian. Limoncello. So, I hope I pronounced it right. Anyway, let's go get started. Hmm. Right, so, the one we're going to do first is limoncello. Let's see. So, this has got pieces of sweet brown sugar cake and bright lemon ice cream. Like, looks nice and yellow. Hmm. So, let's try it out. All right. So here we go. Bone off his heat. Mmm. Mm. You know, I've never had a limoncello cake before. It's supposed to be some sort of Italian cake. This is definitely very lemony. It reminds me of that lemon supreme pound cake my grandma used to make. Mm. Very similar. It's like the lemon. It was definitely there. I don't know why it was just like a, you know, hint of apricot or something. It, it just reminds me of like a lemon supreme cake. I love those. Those are good. Mmm. Kind of like a lemon meringue. Lemon meringue pie? Yeah. Hmm. Do you get that feeling? Or, you know. I'm not very familiar with lemon meringue pie. <laughs> the last problem, I haven't really had it, but. No, I could probably see that. What do you think about it? I, I think know. it's, you know, how should I put this? It's definitely, you know, I want to say creamy. You know, like, you can really taste it. It's kind of like, you know. Mm -hmm. Gosh, what am I thinking of? It's got brown sugar pieces in it. Could be. That's what I'm talking about. It kind of runs like frosting, you know? <laughs> but it's got, you know, it's frosting with lemon, you know, you know put into it. Mm -hmm. Like, it's really, really good. Mm -hmm. So as y'all, some sweet brown sugar cake with uh, bright lemon ice cream. So I guess a limoncello cake is maybe a lemon cake with brown sugar or something on it. I don't know. I need to look up what a limoncello cake is because I literally have ne never heard of it until I found this flavor at the store. So, but anyway, I'm going to give this probably like a eight and a half. It's very, very pleasant. Like it's very sweet, but... It's not so sweet that I can't tolerate it. And it just brings back so many memories for me of the lemon supreme cake that I love, so. I'm gonna give it just a little bit lower, eight. Mainly because for me, eight and a half is like, I'm gonna get it, go to the store just to get it kind of thing. Oh, I know I would. <laughs> so for me, it's very good. I definitely add it to my plate. Not gonna go to the store for it, just for it though. It's still very good. All right, the next thing we're going to do is Blood Orange Chocolate Chip. Now, basically, um, features swirls of regular orange, um, swirls of blood orange, which everyone knows is the cool orange. <laughs> okay, and I the only oranges orange. are accompanied by dark chocolate chips. So, I've, I've seen these oranges, like, certain times of the year in chocolate chips. So, this is what it looks like on the inside. And it's like this orange slice is covered in chocolate. I'm curious it's kind of weird. It. I, I never had one, so I'll be curious about it. So let's try it. All right. Oh, yeah, I got chocolate chip. Hmm. This is definitely an interesting flavor. Like, it's got that hint of chocolate, chocolate crunch of the chip. But, like, it's not like the orange flavor is kind of off putting it maybe a little bit. Take my bite here. The orange is pretty subtle, I'll say that. I mean, it's You think there. it kind of takes away from the sweetness of the chocolate chip, maybe? Let me keep eating. Not, I wouldn't say yes or no yet. Like, it's definitely got a slight orange flavor. Like, it's not there, to me at least, it's not there too much. But, you know, this is not down, but like, it's not very exciting to me. Maybe because I'm just not used to the combination. But I do like the chocolate chips. 
for Matt to say, it's not bad. It's a good ice cream. But it's not like it's blowing me away. It kind of reminds me like vanilla, not the taste, just for but the concept of vanilla ice cream to me, which vanilla is like, it's okay. It's good. Toss on, you know, some, you know, pie, nothing but eater. It's just nothing wowing. No. You know, it's good, but. It's good, but it's not the kind of exciting ice cream you'd be looking for. Not like the other one. The other one was very, very good. So, so this was probably going to get like, mm, six and a half for me, maybe. And it's just kind of there, but not fully there. It's got a good orange flavor and like the chocolate chips. But beyond that, I can't really see like the combination for me working too well. And it's just not very exciting. That's just what I got to say. Yeah, I'm going to give mine a six and a half as well. Like, it's good. I'll eat it if you put it on my plate, but I can think of, I'd probably just grab, like, regular chocolate over it. All right. The next one we're going to try is sweet maple cornbread. Now, guys, when you open this, this is what it looks like. And smell that. That's Have heaven. That is before? heavenly. No, this is a new flavor. Hmm. All right. Cheers. Now, let's go with smell this one. Oh god, it's like heaven. <laughs> There's that cornbread that you find at restaurants and you make it home and you pour like maple syrup all over it or something like And it's, it's got like a taste of pecans too. It's got, it's got that pecan flavor. Gotta love the maple. And at least it does to me. Sweet honey cornbread. Maple ice cream with pieces of honey cornbread. So, basically, maple flavored ice cream, maple syrup, and cornbread, and drizzle honey on it. But I don't know why I'm tasting like this pecans. It's just got that pecan flavor to it. I don't get it. Probably because, you know, often you have maple with your pecans. No. <laughs> now, this is good. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is just a bunch of sweet flavors combined. Question. This is gonna get a definitely a nine for me. I'm almost leaning towards a nine and a half, but like, I don't usually give things that high of a score. This is just perfection, guys. Ooh. Mm. That cornbread makes it a whole lot better. I'm trying to figure <laughs> out how to rate it. <laughs> Cause you like it too. Oh, I adore it. Like. Mm -hmm. She ain't wrong. Like basically, in fact, I'd say it's almost better than regular cornbread. Wow. I'm not saying a lot because I know you like cornbread. Typically. Mm -hmm. Like I like cornbread too, but typically I eat it like plain or maybe with a little bit of butter. I typically don't put like honey or anything on it. But this is just taking me to another world. <laughs> Literally, so that is good. But what do you like about it? Um, so I like, you know, the pieces of cornbread. I mean, everything is on point, but not only that, like, this makes me want to try maple syrup the next time I have cornbread. You need to, or add honey to it. I mean, it. I always add honey, but this means I'm going to try maple syrup, too. Yeah, because, like, maple syrup, and then you got honey combined. So that makes it extra, extra sweet. <laughs> you know, it's just like, mm -hmm. maybe, maybe too much sweetness to some, but heck, to us, it's, um... It's perfect. Yep. I think, gosh, I think I gotta do it. <laughs> I'm giving this a 10 oh out of 10. Oh my god. <laughs> I cannot think of a single improvement I'd make. It's amazing. I want to have it more. And I'm glad we have some left over. I think the reason why I'm giving it a 9 is because although it's probably like one of the best ice creams I've ever had, it's just, I like the sweetness, but it's just a bit too high for me. Like I do like sweet things, but I don't get if it's too sweet. This is just a little bit too sweet for me. But overall, it's like, dang, this is... You guys check out the ice cream just company. Get the hunt corn cornbread flavor. It's just amazing. You maple cornbread? Maple cornbread. Sweet maple cornbread. Sweet maple cornbread. <laughs> yep. Like... So get that one. That is quite possibly the best ice cream I've ever had. And that's not saying things lightly. Like, if you say that, hey, it means it. Right off the bat, dude.
Now, all right. The one we've all kind of waiting we're for. And now all three of them. This is probably going to be the worst one. Because who would imagine taking buttermilk ranch and putting it in ice cream? I would have never imagined that in my life. Like, this company has, has come up with some crazy flavors. Like, you guys seen mac and cheese. You guys have seen pizza. There's even been a mustard flavor of the, uh, this kind of stuff. But this is the most bizarre I have ever seen. So, we're going to try it out. That's what it looks like. It's either going to be a hit or a miss. It smells like ranch. Pretty I do like ranch. ranch. But I'm not sure about this. But let's try it. All right. Let's do this, guys. Now, oh, I gotta take a deep breath. I won't lie. I am dubious on this. I mean, I like, you know... I'm kind of scared. Range. But... And they've made this so people would enjoy it. Right? Right? Mm. I'm gonna tell you this. How does this work? Like, this actually is not as bad as I would have feared. It's got that oniony garlic. It might not like garlic flavor. Mm -hmm. And then it's made as buttermilk ranch. But it somehow works with the sweetness of the ice cream. I don't understand this logic. I like this. I could have seen myself eat by itself. Like some people who have um, reviewed this stuff, they've had to literally dip fried chicken into it just to tolerate it. I'm not, I'm not joking with you. If you re watch reviews on TikTok and Instagram, they've literally had to do that. But maybe I wouldn't have to do that. I just see it on time. It's good. And this is just like another flavor that works. I don't understand it. Like ranch and ice cream. The, um, see, the collaboration I would have never have expected to see in a lifetime. I'm going to give this like an 8. This is good. Who's the man? I'd say it's got a strong flavor. So, first of all, you're either, I think it's going to be very much a love it or hate it. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Because, like, some people will like ranch and some people don't. But I don't know if they would like the idea of this combination. Kind of reminds me of, like sour cream and onion potato chips. Anyway. Yeah, it, it's it is salty. You get you got the onion flavor in it. Like let's see if you read the label, it's um. Oh my gosh, pizza, carrots, French fries, but never tried to go with ice cream until now. And um, the ingredients is onion powder, garlic powder, spices, sea salt. Oh, so you got the saltiness in there. So you saw the onion and garlic powder. Yeah, I could taste the garlic powder and the onion powder right off the bat. That's uh, typically, again, a good taste in ranch. To me, guys, like, this is not bad. But, you know, you be the judge. You give it a try. And you tell us what you think. I'd say this beats the, you know, blood orange one. I, yeah, by it's, like a long shot. The blood orange one was not the best. Definitely actually the worst one of the bunch. Got a little bit of an aftertaste to it. What kind of aftertaste are you referring to? Like... Because I don't usually notice an after aftertaste in ranch. It's just buttermilk kind ranch. Kind of garlic. Garlic? Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, because I've still got some of the flavor on there. I think I could agree with you on that. There's like a bit of a, a lot of garlic left behind after like you flavor it for a bit. I could see myself adding it to my plate. <laughs> I'm going to give it, say, a seven, seven and a half. It's decent. Nothing special. Like, <laughs> not, you know, blowing me away, but it's not bad. This is actually not as bad as I thought. Like, I had someone else that I know try this out a little while ago, and they were just like... <laughs> and they were laughing about it afterwards. <laughs> but I just did not like it. I would just say give us a shot, see how you like it, because you don't know if you're going to love it or hate it. This is just a really cool, unique flavor that I would have never imagined come up in my lifetime. Like the mac and cheese, the pizza, and now you got ranch flavored ice cream. Van Leeuwen, you're doing it. You're doing it again. But anyway, guys, that's all the time we have for today's Van Leeuwen ice cream taste test. Mm -hmm. The winner of today's video, of course, is this one. 
And Loser, I think, like, is definitely the blood orange chocolate chip. Like, I would not recommend that. But try these out. Let us know what you think in the comments below. And we look forward to hearing your opinions. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to click that red button down below to subscribe to the channel. And hit the bell to see your notifications. And we will see you folks in the next video. This is Crystal. And Charles. Signing off. Bye, Bye everybody.